Hello, I am LaMarcia Lewis. Let's talk. Welcome to I am LaMarcia Lewis YouTube channel. Disclaimer, fair use. I am LaMarcia Lewis YouTube channel. It's a news reporting site covered on the copyright disclaimer section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976. Allowance made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research without the need for permission from our payment to the copyright holder. Hello, and let's talk. I want to talk about what do you all think Megan McCain would do once she actually leaves The View? As we know, it has been very a news trending subject. Uh, many outlets are still doing various news stories about it. We also have gotten some leaks in regards to it. So, and something that struck my mind on yesterday, I had saw where she was on social media. And as many of you know, she is now residing, living in Washington, D.C. That is where her husband had been. And she, when she sometime would be in New York doing the show uh, when they was actually still in the studio and when they were live, she would be in New York and her husband, they, she, she said that D.C. was kind of their meeting point or their place where they would come together. And as we know, her father served as a United States Senator many, many years. So as she said, she kind of grew up uh, in the D.C. area. So it's not like it's not an area she's already familiar with. So, um, but what struck me, I saw on social media yesterday, Twitter, um, and various uh, social media, where she was at this rally. And it says, no fear, a rally in solidarity with the Jewish people, July the 8th, I'm sorry, July the 11th at 1 p.m., Washington, D.C. No fear, rally.org. Hashtag no fear rally. And I saw where she spoke and she even uh, made a post about I will be speaking with many others this Sunday, July the 11th on Capitol Hill, the West Front location in support of the Jewish community and against the rising threats of anti Semitism in our country at the no fear rally. Anyone in the Washington, D.C. area, please come and join us. Hashtag no fear fear and as we know uh even on the view she's been su supposedly trying to give her support of the uh rallies in, in regards to uh, or as she says hey uh asian hey i don't know if i don't really know how i feel about it because again we've got to look at who, who whom we're talking about I, I don't think she do a lot of things because it's truly in her heart so i think sometimes it's against Jewish uh, hate. This is what this was supposedly is a rally for. No, no fear. I think a lot of times she has her own hidden agenda. But what caught my attention? I began to think. Okay, so she is finally giving us so many fans, so many people who have been wanting her to leave the uh, view basically since she got there. She is finally granted that request that she's leaving. She will not be back for the twenty fifth season. And she mentioned how, so it gave the invocation, obviously, maybe they're getting ready to go back into the actual studio because she said she wanted to be in the D.C. area. Her husband's family there. She claimed she has family. But to my knowledge, I thought most of her family was still in um, Arizona. I did uh, know where well, I assumed her husband family because I know her husband had a family member like his, uh, her husband's dad and sister work in the trump administration so obviously they were in the dc area i don't know if actually in washington dc or perhaps just close as within the area because i know if you live in maryland and i think maybe even virginia may not be too far dependent of, again upon exactly what areas precisely but she said uh she wanted to her daughter when she began to walk in her first word she just wanted her to be in the dc area but again let me go back Yesterday, when I saw this kind of um, social media platform where she was speaking at this rally, I began to like, hmm, okay, what does Megan McCain, John McCain's daughter, have up her sleeve? I mean, they have said, well, what would she be doing? Would she actually go away, like, from the public uh, arena of being that public figure, like, uh, because she is uh, leaving the show, so therefore she would not be a television host, uh, I assume she will no longer be doing uh, commentary or 
when she like I know she used to be on George Stephan office a lot on Sundays and and she probably still go to her friend Andy Cohen because I mean that's late night with Andy and all that that's reality TV but my thought process is is she planning maybe to try and take a run for the, a political seat maybe again following in her dad's footstep to let us know again she's John McCain daughter would she maybe run for a political office I don't know I, and I, I don't know what reason or why that came to me but it did uh, and it's my hope she just goes maybe basically like in retirement kind of like uh Abby Huntsman we haven't heard from her since the end of, as we know she left supposedly just because she wanted to be a campaign manager who leaves a job at the view a co-host job to be a campaign manager for you even if it is your dad that that made no logical sense but we know it's more to the story than that kind of word on the street was and allegedly uh Abby had kind of found out that they weren't going to offer her uh, a like renew her contract or to bring her back for the next season again allegedly that's the word on the street that she had got a uh, someone as they said a little maybe a little bird toe of the, uh, just word on the street that they weren't going to be keeping her because again abby simply wasn't a good fit for the view and as many have said Megan McCain simply brought it down to housewife status. She she was not a good fit. And it had nothing to do with her political views being a Republican or conservative. It was just the self-right privilege and never letting us forget she's John McCain's daughter. And as we have learned since she made this announcement, as I already knew, and I'm sure many of you too, her dad got her the job. We knew she was there because of the last name McCain and being John McCain's daughter. But when Whoopi said... He said, please take my child. But I'm just wondering, what does she have in store? What's the plan, especially after July? It's 31 days in uh, July, but uh, July 30th is on a Friday. So it's, I'm assuming uh, that would be her actual last day. Many are saying they don't know if she's going to stick it out. Uh, I just saw where one other blogger says like 15 more days left to uh, season 24. So we still have some few days. They just came back off their little uh, hyenas. I uh, felt like they was out for the 4th of July and they was out last week. So this is the today is the first day back for live shows I have not seen. So I guess Megan didn't act too silly today because I haven't seen anything trending in regards to today's show. So... But like I said, I just began to ponder and think, what what's next? What's the plan? Will she be trying to now get a political seat and continue to ride off for her dad's name? She's going to probably feel and think, okay, well, my dad was a senator for years. Many people supported my dad because she loves to go, my dad. John McCain is the father of seven kids. But it's only one that we know he's the father to. So we shall see if she is going to maybe, I don't know, I don't think it would probably say be immediately, maybe gradually kind of continue to put herself out there, maybe like speaking engagements and things of that nature and perspective. I could be wrong. I don't know. It, it, again, this is just something that pondered in my mind. What's next for John McCain's daughter, Megan McCain? Will she continue to try and be that of every little thing riding off the coattail of her dad. Time shall tell. I am LaMarcia Lewis. Let's talk.